Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about navigation gestures by XDA. This application allows you to navigate around your device without the need of a navigation bar. It actually hides your navigation bar. And the cool thing about it is it does all of that by adding gestures to your device. This actually does not need root, but if you have root on your device, this is going to work pretty well. This is TK and this is Navigation Gestures on XDA TV. Using the application is pretty simple. Download it from the Play Store and make sure you give it the correct permissions. Uh, it does require uh, accessibility permission as well as an ADB permission if you don't have root. If you do have root, grant it that way and you're pretty much set. There is a video in the description below on how to grant the permissions for this application for it to work without root. Uh, but launching the application is pretty simple. We're gonna go back once. You notice by default, I have my navigation bar. It's pretty much set. And I, turning it on after I've given it the permission, you'll notice it disappears. And now we have that little pill option that we have. And this is the actual gesture. This will initiate all your gestures based on this functionality. Um, on the top, we have information about the you know, tutorial video that I'm showing you guys right now. You can email the developer as well as the thread itself. Going back, uh, we have the ability of setting it up as far as the gestures. These are the built-in gestures with a couple of premium ones that you do need to unlock. But the short answer is essentially back and then you have the ability of basically swiping up to bring down a notification panel. That just is a very functional way. As well as swiping up to the right, I get the recents app. And of course, you can customize the additional ones. And then look forward for more premium functions and more functions being added to this. But at the core functionality, you have some options here. Going into appearance, you can customize the actual width, the height, as well as the position which we have. And you can, of course, reset which one to whatever comes in as the default. Uh, I did make it a little bit wider to match the size of my speaker here on my Pixel 2 XL, but you can make it to your own liking. I reduced the vibration on the vibration option here down to 90 milliseconds just to, it's not very strong. And of course, swipe up and hold. How long do I need to do that before the actual power button comes on? And I reduced that to be there. Again, you can customize that and you can basically make it your own. The reason why I feel like this is very different and it's much better than just having gestures built into, let's say, a custom launcher like Nova is that it's say I'm inside of, a, let's say, the Google Play Store. Swiping down does not open up my notification panel. Swiping up from the bottom will using this option. This is very functional. Swiping back to the left takes me home. Again, swiping to the right, swiping. And then the other thing that you can do overall as far as the UI is that this will work on any interface. There is going to be more features coming in. And again, it's very, very simple. And if you don't want it and you, for some reason, want to go back to just having it off, just click the option that you have here in the quick toggle settings and it goes away. The installation process breaks down to two different ways. If you have root, you can do everything else on your device, just go through, grant it the permission, and then go through from there. If you don't, you do need to use the ADB process, and I have a video for you guys in the description below on how to do that on your device, as we do need a PC for that process. At the end of the day, this is very functional. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, the link in the description below to be able to download the application. You can check it out, see how it works. There is a premium function to it, so you can upgrade to more features if you'd like, as we're gonna have more and more things coming out that are supported within the application. So like and subscribe as usual to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for the support, and we'll see you guys in the next video.